What's going on, beautiful people? It's it's Motor Mouth Mikey here at, a v at the EXP Gaming Pokemon VGC Tournament uh, 2016. It's the first one we're doing of the uh, VGC 16 season, and we're here at the the Top Cut series right now. We're doing one of the preliminary Top Cut matches between Arkington Owen and Harry Zhang. Change the school. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright. Both these guys have been working all day to try and get to the um to where they are now. So let's see how they do. <laughs> He's been having nothing but good luck all day and hope he's hoping to keep that going through. Yeah. Alright, so we're looking at Arkington's team right now. We have Ferrothorn, Raichu, Salmons, uh, Xerneas, Clefairy, and a Pay Ogre. And on Harry's team, we have a Whimsicott, Cresselia, Salamence, Kangaskhan, Groudon, and a Kyogre. So double primal coming from Harry. They're not a common thing to see. And the battle is on. Let's go. Shut up, Arkington. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alrighty, here we go. We see um, Harry leading there with the Whimsicott Cresselia. And we have Arkington leading with Xerneas and the Kyogre, named I Hate My Life. Alright, it's going to be interesting what we're seeing here with the uh, put t both the potential uh, Tailwind and Trick Room options there with Cresselia and Whimsicott. Um, with those possibilities, Harry really has his um, picking in the form of speed control. Now we see the primal reversion of Kyogre, bringing in the primordial you'll see. Taking out all fire type moves that are going to be coming in. Today these players are going not just for champ not for championship points, for some incredible prizes. We actually have three artworks from, um, supplied by Rise Spirit, um, a Team Rocket mug, the uh, Charizard 3DS case, and Amiibo. We and we have a thirty dollar Nintendo E voucher for first place. Second place gets two artworks um, from Rise Spirit, a Jigglypuff Amiibo, a Mega Gengar um, DS case, and a fifteen dollar Nintendo Network voucher. So some pretty great prizes coming in. Uh, not only that, first place actually getting. Um, an amazing offer with EXP Gaming, any tournament, not just Pokemon, they decide to compete in, free for the entire year. So definitely worth putting in 100% to try and get those wins today. Oh, okay, Kyogre making the switch out, so the rain will lift here. And in comes Elizabeth, the Clefairy, onto the switch here in there. Whimsicott with the Swagger onto Clefairy slot. And there we go, we're going to obviously see the confusion there onto Clefairy. Definitely going to be irritating with that 50-50 chance to kind to actually get off any of the support moves. Oh, we see the Geomancy there from Xerneas, and no doubt the power, we'll see the Power Herb, um, which will allow <coughs> Xerneas to get fully charged with the uh, times to special attack, special defense, and speed boost. And there we go. And there it is, the Trick Room from Cresselia. Really going to make it difficult there for Xenius to, outs um, to outspeed. But that extra bulk and that attack power can't be overlooked. <laughs> Arkington hurriedly grabbing out his notebook to take notes. No good, waiting to see what they're going to do now. We can definitely see the follow me, the redirection from um, Clefairy. Um, a lot of different options that Clefairy can take there. Um, Zony is probably wanting to get off as much damage as absolutely possible. There we go. Will the Clefairy break through? No, Clefairy hitting itself in confusion, taking that extra bit of chip damage. And Whimsicott with the swagger onto the Xerneas as well. <laughs> Xerneas really not going to be appreciating any damage it takes if it hits itself in confusion here. The gravity from the Cresselia here, increasing all moves accuracies and anything that's levitating or flying, not going to be able to stay up there. So here we go. And the Xerneas hits itself too! Luck definitely not in the form of Arkington right now. Definitely um, a gamble there with the swagger from Whimsicott. 
This is definitely going to be a definitely not a good time. Oh, and there's the safeguard from Whimsicott. No more swagger now. We see the safeguard. Will Clefairy break through? No! Twice in a row, Clefairy hits itself into confusion. And and the Psychic onto the Eevee like Clefairy. Zony is stepping up first turn to get up a powerful plus two Dazzling Gleam. Definitely going to be putting in a lot of work. Oh, and there goes Whims got down to his Focus Sash, doing about 40% of the Cresselia as well. Uh, triggering the leftovers. Oh, about, about 45% there. Definitely good for Arkington that the um the swagger broke through. However, he's got to keep in uh, mind that Whimsicott can happily just go for it again and again. And based on those reactions there, Harry might have just done that. Oh, we see the protection of the zone. He is not wanting to get that swagger again or deal with any of that nonsense. And there we go, the swagger right there. And there we go, Elizabeth with the moon blast. Going onto the, um, to the Whimsicott slot, not letting any of that go through now. No Down goes Whimsicott, no more confusion. But the Psychic, onto Elizabeth again, the Clefairy. And there we go, and those leftovers popping, giving Cresselia just that extra bit of health on the bulk. And here we go, we see the Groudon come in on the side of uh, Harry there. Arizona, we see the Primal Groudon, no doubt minimum speed to um, take full advantage of the trick run that's been given. And even with all of Arkington's mods that possibly could come into the air, with the gravity still in play, Precipice Blade is definitely going to be doing a ton of damage. Here we go, wait on their turns now. We've got to be looking. Is that Zunia's going to want to switch out with it? Without it possibly having hidden power of ground, it's really going to struggle to um, stay in here against the uh, against the Primal Groudon. Something that pretty much walls Xerneas. At the same time, Arkington may, may not want to waste that plus two advantage that he has, and getting that Geomancy up early does cause that risk. Cresselia here, probably quite happily able to just keep psychic in away, or really do um, the potential helping hand options as well. Um, plenty of options for Cresselia there in order to support Groudon. This, match, this game is looking very much in Harry's favour so far, but it's not nearly over yet. Both players taking exceptional, um, taking uh, plenty of time in order to actually choose their moves. Really having to think hard. Oh, and the helping hand from Clefairy onto the Xerneas. Yeah. And the, oh, the applause is crazy here. Hands on hands on hands. Here we go, Groudon with the Precipice Blades. That is helping hand boosted. Can Xerneas live it? Xerneas hanging on with about, ooh, about 5%. That is going to be incredible. And the Moon Blast going into the Groudon slot. And, dang, sorry. Jeez. With only a couple of percent Groudon just holding on, and the Trick Room goes away. This is really going to put Arkington in a good position with that times two speed. And here comes the Kyogre, getting rid of that sign, bringing in the rain. Alrighty, so what is going to be going on here? Is the Groudon want to switch? Is it going to act and um, try to reset the weather? Is it going to um, just try and protect, get some damage off on the uh, the Kyogre with the uh, with the Cresselia? There's a lot of options here, and the tables have really turned for uh, Harry there. Really going to need to worry about um, under the complete underspeed. And there goes the Groudon disappearing and into the Kyogre of his own most likely going to try, be trying to tank any of those water moves coming the way of um from Arkington's yeah, from Arkington's Kyogre oh and there we go the dazzling gleam from Zerni is doing an incredible amount of damage and Arkington's Kyogre hitting the water spout at max HP. That Cresselia is not holding on. But the Kyogre does on about 10%. <laughs> and gravity getting removed now. The accuracy of any of those less accurate moves is going to be going down. 
and there is the Groudon. Both Primals in at the same time. Really going to be limiting to Kyogre to the potential only the Ice Beams that they may have left. Definitely going to be considering what's going to be going on here with the outspin of the Xerneas. Yep, a plus two Dazzling Gleam taking out both of Zari, uh, Harry's Pokemon there. An incredible game one there, going into the favor of Arkington. And the crit there, <laughs> insult to injury there from uh, from Arkington. And that, these are of course all best of three. So we see Arkington taking up the first game with a 3-0 victory. Now we're going to be looking at, Harry's going to be looking at what it is he does differently, maybe trying to maintain that trick room and find a way to set it up that second time, or ensuring that the ground, like the possible swagger uh, safeguard combination onto the ground on actually cleaning up um, Arkington's team before the trick room actually goes down. It's going to be, a, it's a lot of an information um, based game here, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see what, hap uh, what comes next and what changes the guys are going to make. Arkington may vote to just um, stay with what he's got. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, there's a lot of possibilities there. Again, what these guys are playing for. Some incredible artworks. Three artworks from the amazing Rice Spirit who was supplied by him. Um, a Team Rocket mug. The uh, Charizard uh, 3DS case. A Charizard Amiibo. $30 um, Nintendo voucher. And of course, free attendance to all EXP gaming events for the rest of the year. An incredible prize for the first place taker. There's of course a bunch of other concurrent games going on, three other games going on right now through um through them as well. And of course we're getting a bunch of the others onto the stream as well. Uh, we have got personalities like we got uh, good old Ludi Cola, Daniel Walker in there facing off against Roland Walker, um, Lumario X. We have uh, Mitch VGC against um, Bori here. We have a bunch of incredible matches that um, are coming through. So we'll be interested to see who will be taking those and who will be coming through to the top four and then more importantly, the finals. Who it is that's going to get these incredible prizes. Of course, second place getting the uh, two artworks from the Amazing Rice Spirit, a Jigglypuff Amiibo, Mega Gengar uh, 3DS case, and $15 Nintendo voucher. And here we go. Game two. Arkington sending out... Well, Harry sending out the Whimsicott and the Cresselia. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That lead really did work for Harry the first time, and it was the late game where he struggled. Arkington bringing out the Raichu and the um, the Xerneas. Marilyn Mouse, the Raichu. Going to be some interesting choices there. Obviously, the electric moves possibly being hindered by the possible presence of Groudon in the back. Also, actually adding the extra threat to the Kyogre. Uh, obviously, Harry points like will be looking to try and set up the Trick Room once again, or even perhaps actually trying to limit the Xerneas with a potential taunt on the Whimsicott. There's plenty of options here. Um, what, obviously, the Geomancy wanting to get that up as soon as possible for Arkington, because that extra plus two power re really puts some incredible work in against against the opposing team, with really the only thing trying to take any hits being that ground on, and we saw the Helping Hand uh, Moonblast leaving it on only 8 HP. So it's really going to be a, about these crucial first couple of plays. We could be see the fake out from Raichu, and we do! Onto the Whimsicott, actually! No swagger this time! But we see the Geomancy from Xerneas. Will we see the Trick Room from the Cresselia? Now, of course, we'll see the activation of the power herb there, guaranteeing that the Geomancy heads up first turn. Oh, yeah. First game two. Alright, yeah. Now we go game two. We're right, editing the stream now. I think we saw the trick room. Yeah, we did the Trick Room from the Cresselia, obviously, again, limiting that speed on the Xerneas. So what possibilities? Definitely opening up the possibility of the Swagger once again from the Whimsicott, causing Arkington quite a bit of problem in the early game. Definitely have to be interesting in how um, Arkington sees himself uh, dealing with that this time. Does the Raichu have anything that actually... Will we see a surprise physical Iron Tail or even a HP Ice or something like of the like? No, we see Raichu going out, not wanting any of the nonsense possibly coming its way. Elizabeth, the Clefairy coming back in. 
And the Zerni is with the Protect, so we can definitely see a really defensive play here from Arkington. And the Whimsicott with the Swagger into the Zerni slot, the easy Protect there. Gravity bringing everything down. Obviously playing for that long game with his, um, no doubt with the Groudon in the back now. Of course, guys, if you want to keep up with all of the eSpeed Gaming AU's um, stuff, follow us over there at the links there. eSpeed Gaming AU on Facebook, at eSpeed Gaming AU on Twitter, and eSpeed Gaming AU on YouTube. So what are we going to be seeing here? Another helping hand, Moonblast, but, uh, potentially, from um, from Arkington. Cresselia switching out. Voting to no doubt going to the ground on, yep, straight after that gravity um, setup, we're going to want to get as many Precipice Blades off as possible. Here we go, the Primal Reversion bringing in that massive monster that is Groudon. Definitely an enormous threat while this Trick Room is up. And if Arkington... Did Arkington actually predict the switch, potentially? The Follow Me from um, Clefairy redirecting any potential Swagger from the Whimsicott, and it does! The Swagger going into the Clefairy slot. Arkington, of course, mimicking the follow me there from Clefairy. And the plus two Dazzling Gleam from Zerni is going to be putting in some incredible work. No doubt bringing, yep, Whimsicott down and doing a good amount of damage, leaving the ground on at about 55 to 60% health. And the Kyogre now once again bringing the double primals. Both uh, Harry looking like he didn't really change much from his last team. Well, of course, we don't know one of the last Pokemon there, but we'll have to see what else he brought. Definitely an enormous threat right now, having to acknowledge what it is that um, Arkington wants to get rid of. Obviously with the plus two special defense, Zerni is probably eating up as many hits as it wants from Kyogre, but really having to try and put in maybe a direct Moonblast into the Groudon to take it out, because if it tries to hit on the physical side, it's really going to hurt Xerneas. We see Clefairy switching out here for Madam Nom Nom. What is that? The Salamence. Oh, going for the Intimidate. They're getting the minus one for the Precipice Blades. An incre a really smart move there on um, Arkington's part. And the Protect from the Zerni is, again, a really defensive switch in play. So the next question is, what is it we're going to see from the Kyogre? The Pres the Gravity, of course, actually um, bringing down Salamence. Uh, again, only the minus one. But the Full Health Water Spout going to be doing crazy amount of damage to the to the uh, Salamence there, taking it out, really not appreciating that water spout. Hopefully putting in that extra bit of work that Arkington needed there, getting the minus one onto the Precipice Blades, let's hope sacrificing the Xerneas was worth, uh, sacrificing the Salamence was worth it. And bringing back the Clefairy, we definitely see here quite the predicament that Arkington's in right now. Um, having to put in a, quite a bit of extra actual uh, damage into the Groudon and the Kyogre. Perhaps a Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam to get both, or a Dazzling Gleam Moonblast to really take out the, pre the offensive pressure on one of them. And we just got news from the other members of the top eight. Mitch Kendrick taking out Corey 2-0 um, in one of the other uh, top, top eight matches. So he'll be advancing on to be in the top four. And again, the Water Spout coming from the Kyogre, doing an incredible amount of damage to the Xerneas there. And there's the Dazzling Gleam from Xerneas. That may have been the plus two. That is the plus two. And there we go. The Twisted Dimensions returning to normal. And once again, Arkington definitely going to be putting him in the driver's seat with the uh, Trick Room gone. The outspeeding Xerneas really can put in an incredible amount of work. We could potentially see a double into the... A, a Dazzling Gleam taking out the Groudon and... Yep, and there we go. Down goes the Kyogre. I was going to say a Moonblast into the uh, Kyogre slot. And there we see Cresselia, obviously going to be wanting to try to reset up that Trick Room. A plus... Oh, there we go. The plus two and Helping Hand Dazzling Gleam. No doubt going to take out... No! Groudon getting the Protect off! Helping Hand actually out-prioritizing the uh, Protect there. But there we go. We see, the, we see the plus two Dazzling Gleam with the Helping Hand boost onto um, Cresselia doing an incredible about 75% damage. Some fantastic work there from the Xerneas, and whilst uh, Xerneas gets to outspeed, it really is in control here. This might be looking like a 2-0 here for Arkington. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what it is that Groudon does to put, turn this around. Groudon going for the double protect and landing the double protect there! So, potentially relying on somehow missing, although never happened. There we go. Admirable to Cresselia going down. No more Trick Room. 
This is really looking at a potential um, sweep there from Zerny. It's for both matches. Um, definitely seeing why, um, without having to check to Zerny, it really does cause enormous problems um, for an opponent's team. That's definitely being one of the key mons the players need to look out for. And the Helping Hand, no doubt going for a... Th for a third Dazzling Gleam or fourth Dazzling Gleam and alone. L Ryan, the Kyogre going for the Protect now. Did the Groudon go for the triple? <laughs> the Groudon went for the triple Protect but did not land it. The Dazzling Gleam no doubt going to take out the Groudon here and pretty much setting Arkington for... Yep, Harry pretty much acknowledging um, the position he's in right now. Arkington going to be taking the 2-0 victory over Harry there. There we go. Match was forfeited, of course. Arkington is going to take the win there. An incredible game, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing who's, who's going to be next on the stream. And we will see you guys in a little bit.